So there's something I keep seeing recurring in a lot of, like, creative aspects of life when it comes to, like, art or music, singing, um, drawing, acting. <laughs> People seem to think that you have to be good or even great at something to pursue it. And that makes me, like, really sad because creativity isn't meant to be, like, in the spirit of competition. It's meant to express oneself through whatever you're doing. So if you're like a writer, or if you're a singer, or you're an artist, or you're, I don't know, any combination of those things, you don't have to be the next savant at them to enjoy them and to do them. The whole point of having that in your life is to inspire, to encourage, to express, to connect with other people, to share a little bit of yourself through what you're doing, and you do not have to be amazing at it. It, it just makes me so sad that I, I see like... I'm a voice teacher and I go around sometimes and I talk to people and they ask me what I do for a living and I say that I'm a voice teacher and they're like, oh, you could never teach me, like, I can't sing this in my life or I could, I could never sing anywhere, I only sing in the shower kind of mentality and it's like, but do you like it? Do you like to sing? Does singing bring you joy? Because if it does, then it really doesn't matter, and this goes for everything too, like drawing, poetry, it doesn't matter how good you are at the thing that you're doing. Because, first of all, creativity is subjective, so even if you are one of the most amazing, great artists or singers or writers or whatever of the century, there's going to be somebody who doesn't like it. And that's fine, because it doesn't matter what they think. It is your craft, it is your expression, and you need to go back to, I think everybody who has struggled with this needs to go back to the reason of why they started doing what they do in the first place. Because nine times out of ten it's because you really like it, you love it, it's, it fuels you with joy, it gives you that way to express your emotions, to cope with your emotions, to get through rough times, to celebrate, to connect. That is the reason why. It should never be because I want to be the next great person. There's nothing wrong with having ambition. There's nothing wrong with having goals to get better at something. But if those goals are a hindrance to the joy, if they make you feel worse off than when you started, maybe it's time to just put that, that necessity to improve aside and just do it because you love it. Do it because it brings you joy. Do it because it is something that makes you feel good about your life and helps you express your true emotions and your true self. Like, don't let negative opinions about what you're doing from other people, or even yourself, hold you back. Like, if you want to pursue something that gives you joy, do it. And that's coming from somebody who's been doing this for a long time and was told by so many people that I was too, you know, too nasal, or I, I was too breathy, or I didn't have any power, or I just lacked that kind of spark. And yes, I have taken steps to improve, but I also have realized over time, and I'm still battling this, I'm not saying I'm, you know, it's over and it's done, that it's not about that. It's not about being the best. It's not about being, like, amazing. It's about doing what you love because you love to do it. And that's all that really should matter when it comes to that kind of expressive art form. Again, if you want to improve, if you want to get better, if you want to take steps to do something like this professionally, then absolutely do that. Nothing wrong with that, as long as you don't lose the why and the joy and the love that you have for what you do.